Okay, so here we are. We're in Fort Myers, Florida. It is uh, the middle of August, and I have a very fascinating patient here, and I want her to tell her story because what she is describing is rare, and I have seen it before over you know the past 15, 20 years doing floaters, and it's very, very unknown to ophthalmologists and neurologists unless they have dealt with this. Now, now, now tell us your story. You're 27 years old, yes, right? Sir. Okay. Uh, about how many years ago did this issue start again? About a year and a half. A year and a half ago. And, and at that time, you also had some other possible issues. You had some inflammation of your joints, was it? Mm -hmm. And what, knees you said? Yeah, knees, hands. And they evaluated you for uh, Lyme disease. You're a hobby farmer from Arcadia, Florida, <laughs> but it's a hobby. But you're around animals and deers and all sorts of critters. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but you're only 27 years old, and 27-year-olds in general don't have problems. Mm -hmm. uh, so a year and a half ago, you started seeing what you felt were floaters, floaters or what somebody else told you sounded like floaters. Mm -hmm. Was that it? So what, 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 what did you see when you saw it a year and a half ago? What was it? Um, just like dark spots in, there in both eyes, not just one. And then I also was seeing like, um, I would call it like web, cobwebs, like a clear cobweb in the eyes as well. And then things like shooting through my vision when I drive into like the bright lights and all that stuff. So it's mainly dark spots, light spots. So the, spots. these spots, these spots, did they scintillate? Did they vibrate or or did they stay, I should say, maybe in a constant point of your field of vision or did they swirl around they in your field? They swirl field? around. They yeah. swirl around. And then the around. things that shoot across my vision just kind of shoot around all the time. <laughs> right, right, right. Whenever right, they want right. to. Okay, so, and you see this with your eyes closed as well. No. No, mm -hmm. you don't. But in other words, with light stimulus, you yes. notice it. Mm -hmm. Do you do you notice that stuff with your eyes dilated right now? Um, the not as much. Not as not, not as nearly much. as much. Mm -hmm. Not nearly as I much. I have noticed that when my eyes are dilated, it's not nearly as noticeable. So anyway, you went through a massive workup for Lyme disease and MS and all sorts of weird uh, immunological and neurological conditions and they all pretty much came up negative yes, correct yes. okay so they came up negative uh, you saw an ophthalmologist in arcadia mm -hmm. uh, correct and his opinion was what did he say he told me that you know that i had floaters and he also told me i was seeing the blood vessels or whatever the corpuscles yes. or mm -hmm. that's that could be a possibility but mm -hmm. but yours is more of an extenuated situation. 99.9% .9 of people don't see those things. Yeah. Unless I, if you do a somersault, sometimes I can I can see them, yeah. or I have seen them. But uh, you also went to a retinal specialist. Mm -hmm. Do you don't remember his name? No. Walker. No. His last name oh, Doctor Walker. Walker. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, and what was his opinion? Um, he pretty much just told me I had floaters and that my eyes were good. I just had floaters. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And then you saw a neurologist for the other things as well. Mm -hmm. And what did he think about this, or did he just defer this to an ophthalmologist? Pretty much. They did a bunch of testing on me. Um, they hooked my hooked me up to some stuff and did all that. Um, Your brain waves are okay. Yeah. Every, everything's negative. <laughs> everything's negative mm -hmm. except for something on an MRI that looked like a, a spot, but they yeah. weren't. It, it was equivocal. It's not mm -hmm. obviously diagnostic. So anyway, uh, let me describe my examination. And I think the history is more important. And, and we also talked about the phenomenon of like an old cathode ray, yes, ray tube television when you hit mm -hmm. the horizontal and vertical and it has a lot of patterns. Yes. What, what brings that on? Or is that there just simultaneously with all the other kind of stuff? It's just kind of, that just kind of comes on every once in a while. In other words, it's some sort of visual pattern that... that mm -hmm intermittently happens and the other ones intermittently happen but it's never 
the exact same visual pattern yeah. all the time. Like, exactly. I catch myself a lot of times going like this a lot, because I'm like, I mean, if I do this enough times, it'll go away, but it doesn't. But. Okay. So this has really impacted your your existence, I guess. My I mean, youthful years. It's yeah, really right, right, right. You should be having years. fun, of course, at yes. your age. But uh, you've, you've said, did you have to repaint the inside of the house? No, my house is already, it's like a darker tan, so we're good. It's but, not white. But you said you had to pull the drapes and... and oh, yeah, I keep my drapes closed. Everything is closed Everything's closed. You go out with sunglasses, and even yeah. inside you're with sunglasses. If it's in a and, bright white room, I will keep my sunglasses on. Okay. So this this phenomenon, and is it is it pretty much a constant thing during the day, or are there intermittent times when it perhaps is abated somewhat? Or it's you just mainly, try to reduce it with the visual sunglasses yeah and, and like it's mainly like as soon as i walk outside it's bam it's they're there and when i'm inside they're there but they're not as noticeable i'm assuming because my house is so dark all the time mm -hmm. but when i walk outside into the bright sun and everything is when it's constant okay yeah and more you know i can notice it more. so anyway you somehow found that i'm the go-to floater guy yes, sir. And <laughs> I, I believe i am the go-to floater guy but uh <laughs> Uh, that's not without uh, any basis uh, and certain experience with this. Mm -hmm. But uh, I examined you, and the correct way to examine the vitreous gel is with a slit lamp, which is uh, an optical microscope with special lighting, and with, I will show what this is. This is called a Goldman, oops, a Goldman style lens and it is a lens that goes directly on the eye and that way we can see way deep inside to the retina because you can't see floaters very easily especially subtle floaters without using this uh, there's doctors who say they can but you know I've examined uh, probably tens of thousands of patients and this is the way to really see things anyway after my examination my conclusion was that your vitreous is actually 99.9% .9 clear, except for the normal, oh, I would say molecular condensations that we might see in anybody your age. Mm -hmm. There weren't any discrete definitive floaters, and certainly not hundreds of little spots or dots or anything like that. So I, I, I wanted to do this video because I don't think anybody's ever really interviewed a patient on this. I believe you have what's called visual snow. And visual snow is a phenomenon that is not widely recognized by ophthalmologists. As somebody your age goes in, they say they have floaters, the ophthalmologist will look at the retina and you'll ask, well, do you see my floaters? And they always will give you lip service and say, yeah, I see the floaters, mm -hmm. we can't do anything, so go home, don't worry about it, your eyes are healthy. This is across the board. Even among the retinal specialists, I don't think they listen to the history very well. But there is an article for those of you who are academically inclined. We have a copy of it here. It is from the British Neurological Journal uh, called Brain, B-R-A-I-N, and that is from 2014. So anybody who's interested in reading about this on a scientific basis should read this very well done. It was published in Britain, and it uh, was co-authored by uh, people in London uh, and the United States, and I see one in Germany here. But you have visual snow. I'm, I'm very much convinced, and I would like to speak with the neurologist that is actually examining you for these other issues, which I don't think are related to any degree, but uh, there is possibly some sort of... Uh, pharmaceutical intervention that can sort of short circuit, <laughs> short circuit uh, these pathways that cause this phenomenon. That'd be awesome. Uh, and, and they've also been described as like psychedelic trails, you know, and, and after images. There's a lot of descriptions in that article that I gave you. And uh, I, I, I think this uh, interview might help other people get to the bottom of something because I, I have patients your age and younger come in with their parents and they've been told by other doctors, oh, I see the floaters. Mm -hmm. And I tell them I don't see the floaters. And they wonder, well, who, who's who's being you know correct? Yeah. I'm being correct mm -hmm. in these cases. Mm -hmm. I am being correct. Uh, the other doctors uh, either convince themselves they see something that's not there because the vitreous is never 100% clear. There's always something to see, but mm -hmm. it's certainly not what you're describing. 
and you're a great patient, and I appreciate <laughs> your telling the world this will make you, uh, uh, well, helping other people look at Thank it that you. way. Okay, <laughs> my pleasure. Mm -hmm.